Ads, ads, ads. Everywhere I look, there's ads. I turn on the TV, ads. I fire up the internet, ads. Turn on the radio, you guessed it, ads. In modern world, advertising is everywhere. With plenty of readers as potential customers, the print media such as magazines and newspapers are also frequently chosen to be advertising platforms. However, ads messages a lot, which makes people feel bored and being bothered. What the beep? So the elaboration of language in ads is very important. Today we are going to look at one important kind of language elaboration methods: rhetoric. The analysis will be towards the characteristics and gender difference of the rhetorical figures used in the advertising slogans on popular magazines. As the foundation, we have to get to know some basic concepts. Advertising slogans are short, often memorable phrases and sentences used in advertising campaigns and advertisements. They are usually set in the middle or conspicuous part in the picture, with bigger letters than other copywriting, and are claimed to be the most effective means of drawing attention to one or more aspects of a product. For example, in this case, "Give power to your love" is an advertising slogan. A rhetorical figure can be defined as an artful deviation in the form taken by a statement. In order to do better classification, we will use a rhetorical figure classification framework. All rhetorical figures can be divided into two main categories. One is scheme, which means the excess regularity. The other one is trope, which owns the features of irregularity. In the category of scheme, repetition and reversal are the main branches. While in the category of trope, two branches are substitution and destabilization. As we have already got to know the basic concepts, now I'm going to talk about my data selection. In order to do the analysis of gender difference, I choose three issues: April, May, and June. In 2016, of one popular magazine aiming at female readers, Elle Australia, and another popular magazine aiming at male readers, Men's Fitness Australia. Elle is a worldwide lifestyle magazine of French origin that focuses on fashion, beauty, health, and entertainment, with the female groups as the main target. It is also the world's best-selling fashion magazine, with 43 international editions in over 60. Countries. Obviously, the advertisements on L I can find are makeups, cosmetics related. Men's Fitness is a men's magazine founded in the United States in 1987. The magazine targets men ages 21 to 40 years and features in-depth articles on fitness, nutrition, and sports, fashion advice, interviews, recipes, and surveys. So, advertisements here are sports. Fitness and men's nutrition related. Now it's the time for looking at the data. From these three editions of two different magazines, I have found 127 advertising slogans in total, and among them, 78 advertising slogans use rhetorical figures. Something I want to mention is there are some repeated advertisements on different issues and advertisements without any slogans, so I just exclude them. Let's see some slogan examples of the top five used rhetorical figures I picked. Motivation is your best accessory. This product is an auto tracker used for exercise tracking. In order to make it closer to female customers' focus, accessory is used as a metaphor for motivation to emphasize that motivation can best dress women up and make women beautiful. Run around naked. Naked refers to the color of the foundation stake. Which means the color is so natural that seems there is no makeup. Also, it refers to a state of freedom.
your skin, your story, your true match. It uses the same structure your plus something to form parallelism, which makes the sentence sound more rhythmic. Meanwhile, the product can not only benefit your skin but also help you create a story, and this is your true match. Hydrolyzed, hard to say, easy to drink. Hard and easy are antonyms. Here, hard to say means it's hard to pronounce the word hydrolyzed. But the product makes this kind of nutrition easy to drink and be absorbed. It's pure quality. It's Emma and Go. By using the repetition of eight, this slogan creates a rhythm and links pure quality with its brand. In terms of gender difference, there are 60 female ad slogans, 59 male ad slogans, and 8 unisex product ad slogans. 49 female ad slogans use rhetorical figures, which accounts for 82%, while 23 male ad slogans use the rhetoric, the use rate is 39%. Obviously, the female ad's rhetoric use rate is more than twice as much as the male ad's rhetoric use rate. By comparing the use date, we can directly get our first conclusion. Advertising tools the female customers use more rhetorical figures than those aiming at male customers. It manifests the key differences in the way female and men perceive images and text in the advertising world. Men eliminate all but the essential information and base their conclusions accordingly. Women integrate conflating layers of data and information and base their conclusions on the sum. Another difference is, in female ad slogans, metaphor is the most used rhetorical figure, while in male ad slogans, pawn is the most popular one. Metaphor one cognitive mechanism whereby one experimental domain is partially mapped helps transform the abstract target domain's phenomena into more concrete and physical concepts. Therefore, it plays an important role in cognitive processing and describing vivid pictures through words, which is welcomed by the female. And poem, which contains two or more message related interpretations, always brings humorous effects when it is used in advertising language. Thus, it is popular among male ad slogans. Then, going back to look at the general data of all, combining with the rhetoric classification framework, we can find that generally speaking, trope is used more than scheme. And in the troop branch, destabilization, especially metaphor and pun, are the most popular rhetorical figures for ad slogans. While in the branch of scheme, repetition is also popular but not used as much as destabilization. Troops are more used than schemes, it's also discussed and analyzed by former research. Defined because troops deviate more from expected language use than schemes, and the greater deviation yields more extensive ad processing. So that's why chips are usually more used than schemes. There exist some limitations of the analysis. First, the similar products category limit the diversity of rhetorical figures. Second, customers are influenced not only by the language, but also by the pictures in terms of print advertising, which means we cannot directly conclude which rhetorical figure is more productive for raising consumers' purchasing desire without further investigation. Thank you for watching.